Are you a domestic worker? Are you a house helper? Are you a maid? How do you change your visa to a new employment? Remember, when we are talking about domestic workers, when we are talking about housemaids, when we are talking about helpers, it is a different scenario. And when you look at all situations that these are, for example, here in Qatar, <coughs> we are talking about different contracts at the end of it all. Uh, remember, for example, when we are talking about housemates in Qatar, their contracts, their probation period is far different from other workers in Qatar. Remember, your probation period is supposed to be nine months. That is according by the government. It's supposed to be nine months. And you're supposed to serve that nine months. Otherwise, if you don't complete those nine months, that means your recruitment agency has to refer or has to refund back the money to the person who was hiring you or to that family that hired you. That's why normally it's always very important for you to first finish up the nine months. But apart from that, remember, you always do what we call your sign contracts and those contracts that are being signed. But what I can advise you, before you think of changing in one way or the other, it's better you first finish up that contract. Contrary. If you finish up that contract and you feel you cannot go with that family anymore or if you feel you cannot go with that employer anymore, there are a lot of situations that you, 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 may, you there are challenges that you may face in one way or the other. For example, if your employer or if your family is not willing you to let you go or transfer to a new employment, then that is well and good. You, you just know that you, 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 in some situation you may encounter such kind of situations whereby they will not let you go or they cannot let you just go like that to change to a new employment. But again, this does not stop you because remember, it's perseverance is the best weapon and uh, you always have to be uh, positive whatever you have to do in one way situation. And this is what I, uh, I would advise you to do. Because someone will say, how can you uh, change the housemaid visa? It's possible. First of all, the first situation, the first instance, the first situation that you need to, to understand or you need to have in your mind is that, have you got a new offer? If there's someone else that is willing to take you on and you finish your contract, you can, you, you can, you can resign off of your contract. You, you may not sign an extension of your contract and go to someone else but remember that when we look at uh, when you look at the procedure you are going to follow the same procedure like anyone else who is changing from one employment to another in case you are going to change from that employer to a new employer within the country there are two different cases if you are going to change within the country it is another situation if you are going to exit the country and come back as a new entrant on a new visa, it is another situation also. Remember, domestic workers, house helpers, house maids, they're all entitled to other benefits the other workers in Qatar are entitled to. The gratitude, you're also entitled to gratitude. I mentioned that. You're also entitled to rest the hours like other people are getting. You're also entitled to, to, to break times at intervals because you are not supposed to work a full consecutive 12 hours without a break. It is five hours consecutive, then you have to get a break of one hour. I don't know whether some of you are out there, you get those breaks, but you're entitled to those breaks. You're entitled to prayer time. If, if in case you have to go for prayer, you're entitled for that break to have the prayer. So what I'm trying to say that if you're winning, if you really, you geared up to changing from the housemate to a new employment, First of all, first look for someone to give you the job. Look for someone who is going to take you, who is going to give you what you call a job offer. If someone gives you a job offer and is willing to take you on at that situation, that means, yes, you, you, you're ready to let it go. You're ready to start up to go. But remember, when you look at the government requirements, or when you look at the government or the means of labor requirements, procedure for you to change a new employment, you need to get approval. You need to get approval from your former employee or your former family has to approve that we've let you go in a very good harmony. That is how it's very different. 
you need to get approval you need to get signature approval that i'm letting this person to go then still much as this new person has given you what you call a job offer he also has to approve he also has to sign that i've accepted to take up this person that is where it is that is where the whole process is going to start from so first of all Finish up your contract. It's very important. If you're a housemate, if you're a domestic worker, if you're your house helper, first finish up that contract. Please don't control break within the contract. Let's say, for example, you sign the contract of two years and you want to break after one contract, after one year contract. It's going to be a little bit very hard for you because I don't think that family is going to allow you to let you go unless you're going to exit the country. If you are going to resign and go out of the country and you get a fresh visa then that is okay. But if you're thinking of changing from here, it may be a little bit very tricky and very hard because this person will not approve you, will not approve you going to the next person, to the new employer. And for the Ministry of Labor, the requirement is that if you're a domestic worker, if you're a helper in one way or the other, you are supposed to get a signature, you're supposed to get an approval. That this former employee or former family is letting you go without any anything attached to you that is what you need to know but if you're getting if you're going to get someone that is willing to take on you and this other family is accepting you to go then that is where and go you have a right they will sign for you they will go and change if there's any 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 uh an amount this one has to give this one then probably they will settle that one that means even the new employer that is going to recruit you is is going to to get it very easy for to to process all the documents for you that is what is the whole situation of it all is remember your probation period is nine months and the requirement for you to change is just you're supposed to first finish up the contract that you signed because if you don't finish up that contract, that recruitment agents that took you there or that hired you to that family will have to refund part of the money to the family. That is part of the requirements. You all know what we call the price caps for different nationalities who are working as housemates. Different nationalities from different houses from different countries have what we call different house caps, what we call a caps. The hiring caps are very different. So this recruitment agency will also not be willing to agree to, to, to refund because of you leaving the job. So that's why I say it's normally the advice will be for the first advice before I can show you the procedure on how you can do it manually. But the, 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 the whole procedure of it all, first finish up the contract. If it is five years and you agree to first, if you, it is two years and you agree to first finish up the two years, I finish up the two years, then you can move. Otherwise, you move up, you finish your contract, and you get someone else out there that is giving you a good job, is giving a job, or is giving a new job offer. You're willing to take on, you can take on, it's no problem, you, you're gone. But remember, if you're going to apply within the country, you're changing from your cat ID to a new cat ID, which is of a different job, then you'll have to go under the same procedure of the Ministry of Labor where you need to get approval, you need to submit your contract, you need to submit a copy of your asserted contract. Yes, that is very important. Yes, when you get to those families, get a copy of your asserted contract, a copy that is certified by the Ministry of Interior. Ask your own, ask your family, ask your employer, where is my copy? Have that copy, keep it. That copy is going to be very important for you if you want to change. It's very important. Have your passport with you. Because when you are going to change, they will ask for a copy of asserted contract of the former employee. Why are they asking for that copy? They definitely want to find out whether you've completed that contract that you signed with that person. So, get that copy. Keep it with you. Have your passport get a job offer from the new person who is willing to take you or the new job that is willing to take you off. Make sure that that person is also genuine, genuine is, is going to, to, to process the documents for you until the end. But however, I will advise you still, if all the worst gets to the worst, 
and you, you have no way, the family cannot let you go, and you can resign, you can resign and go out of the person. If this far is this company on the new job is willing to recruit you, to definitely send you the visa to come. But for housemates, the, the first advice I would give you is first finish up that contract if you want to change. If you want to change within the country, otherwise, apart from that, you definitely have to exit the country and get a new visa for you to return into the country for the new job that you're willing to take. Hope I've tried to, to, to share something a little bit. Let, let get in the comment section. Tell me what do you what 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 is what do you want us to talk about in the comment section? Drop in, I'll always be very uh, more than happy. But remember you have to follow the same procedure. If you are going to change within here it's quite possible if you get someone that's going to give you a job offer normally what is happening with the change is a job offer and your former employer willing to let you go and a copy of your contract that is where it's, it's quite very important and sometimes someone is asking why is it taking so hard for 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 the Ministry of Labor to approve or to let people go First of all, I told you something that you need to know. You, you are not going to leave a housemate job and again go to a housemate job. These are two competing entities. These are two competing jobs. So this one will not willing to let you know go because you're still in the same line of business. He might think you're going to uh, get out of the secrets from this family to this family. Always people need to take their safety. So if you're willing to change and you're going to change as a housemaid or a domestic worker or an helper, think of something that is far away from what you've been doing. If you're looking for something, look for something that is far away from what you're doing. If you are going to change within the country, if you want your cut ID to be transferred to a new employer, because there's no change of details, it's only going to change employer to a new employer. Your cut ID will say they say the same. But again, if it's going to be the same competing line of business, if you are going to move from a housemate to a housemate, you must finish your contract first. And this former employer or your former family must be willing to let you go. That's what I can let you. Thank you so much. Hope I've tried to share something. If you're a domestic worker, if you're a, if you're a driver, and something still I also love to let you, if you're a driver or a house driver, you're entitled to gratitude. Yes, recently I was getting a, one of the subscribers and saying, I've worked for this family for 10 years. Yes, you're entitled to gratitude. If you're going to go, Baba, Mama is not going to let you to stop you entitled to your gratitude. You have the contract. What is very important, have that contract with you. Wherever Mama, Baba, or Kafir recruited you, have that contract with you. Ask for that contract of contract. It's not the contract of mouth, it's only contract, contract of words. Have a copy with you. Keep it safe. Because even if you go to the Ministry of Labor and ask it, this is what happens. I've been working for this family for the last 10 years. They will, they will definitely ask what is the copy, why are the copy of the contract? Because the contract, the copy of the contract, is going, the, the basis of the calculation of your, your money is going to be behave starting from there. So normally, if you go in those families, make sure you keep the copy of contract with you safe. If it's your recruitment agency that hired you to go to that family, Ask that recruitment agents to have that asserted copy of the contract that is approved by the Minister of Interior. Thank you so much for coming back. This channel is Makes from the Next Creation. See you again in the next video as we try to discuss more of this important. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that will be updated when I upload a new video. See you again in the next video.